In this video, I'll take a look at flag and pennant chart pattern analysis. So in front of you, I have a flag pattern drawn out. It's probably the easiest way to explain it is that you have a pole and then you have a bit of a consolidation, a slight pole bank, but it's kind of choppy typically. And then once you break above this little trend line here, a continuation. So impulsive move, kind of pull back, build up a little bit of momentum, a little bit of um, you know stability. People want to get involved, and there we go. You know, people don't want to miss that profit. The great thing about this is that you can take the pole here, and I could probably even put it down there, and from the breakout, that would be your target. So as we break out here, we straighten this out target is about there we did hit it doesn't mean it has to hit it right away you can see we came really close to it um you know it, it, depending on how you drew this pole that might have actually been the target because you know let's just say you take that pole you know, from the impulsive candlestick well we clearly hit that hit that pretty quick actually over the course of a couple of weeks and that's a flag that's a bullish flag This is a pennant. Now, a pennant is the same thing, except for it's more of a triangle pattern. Same exact pattern, same exact measurement. This is a bearish pennant. You can see that's exactly where we stopped. This pole measures for a move right down there where we formed a double bottom. Again, this is just a continuation pattern of a trend. Um, in this case, a bearish trend. Traders kind of sell off. They kind of build up a little bit and they continue to go lower. I have a bullish pennant here and a bearish flag here. Same thing. We sell off. We kind of kill off some time. And then once we break down below this trend line, which is the top of the upside down flag, if you will, we aim for the length of the pole, clearly hit it, kind of ground back and forth in that area and then sold off even further. And you know, the, the great thing about flags and pennant, is, pennant patterns is so many people pay attention to them that they become self-fulfilling. Impulsive move higher, a little bit of consolidation. We finally break out above there. You take your pole on the breakout, and that's where we ran into trouble right up here. Pulled back. I mean, we went further, obviously, but that's all that the pattern predicts. These are very common patterns. They happen on all time frames. It just so happened to be that I found them on the daily time frame. Like anything else with technical analysis, the higher the time frame, the more reliable it will probably be. So make sure that you pay close attention to these patterns. A lot of people do, and therefore a lot of people trade them.